Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to Grim Dawn. Or, I should say, I'm back. I keep using the wrong intro. I have an intro for starting a set, I have an intro for continuing a set. Like, you know, I stop, I come back. Yeah, it's still part of the same set. I have ways, you know, I have a, a, a general idea for them all. And I keep mixing them up. Uh, okay, I'm actually recording. 30 seconds in, 31, 32, 33, you have footage, you have footage, and that only two things are open, okay. I suddenly got very worried there that something was wrong. Again, it's just the other day with mess up on the, reco mess up on the recording, just, it's fucking stuck with me. Okay, there is shite in here. Like it. Ooh, Mark and Trump. I'm surprised they didn't, like, they left corpses, I was, you'd think they would've, I was thinking that they would, I would've added them all. I'll be with you eventually, mate. Just gonna have to wait till the end of the other expansion. Thank you for giving me closure. I don't know why those keep relighting up. Have you dealt with the Demphurian Queen? The Demphurian cycle is disrupted. That That is the best news I've heard for weeks. I'll have to speak to Captain Sommer about getting a proper kitchen set up. Your continued support is ensuring that Homestead will produce enough food for all. What about Devil's Crossing? You can't... You, you have done much to help us get our fields back in order, but I can't spare anything until my people have had time to grow a fresh crop. If you continue to help us out, then that will free up the hands I need to tend to the harvest. Carrying out the beasts roaming the land will also assure that we can work in peace. Though, given how the game is, he will count any beasts anywhere killed. If I go back to the Warden's territory and just slaughter beasts solely there, or if I go miles upon miles, league upon league, to the desert place in the Forgotten King's expansion, he will count beasts being killed over there. Yeah, it's, it's weird. So I got 11,000 experience, 2,000 iron, 1,000 homestead rep, and an increased inventory size. Very well. You're a great service to people of homestead. What else could I do to help out? And you can do to ease the load on the farmers will be great help. The more time they can spend tending to the crops, the better. Clearing out the beasts from the fields will also ensure they can, we can work in peace. When he says that, uh, it's you like uh, it's just like, oh, you big boy. That's all I can hear. <sighs> fucking pulsing shard? Huh. That's an interesting offhand. Not something I would touch, but sure. 61% energy regen? God damn. One hands, guns, off hands, I can just automatically sell. I don't even need to look at them. Tempting, but I think I'm going to stick with what I have because it gives the resistance and it's the homebrew potion. That's a really nice thing to have if when you need it. The armor is nice, but it doesn't really do much for me outside of that. Okay, armor, a, ch a chunk more health and a chunk more spirit, but I lose resist with fire and lightning. Very, very frightening. That would knock me down to 10 fire and 10, ten cold. Uh, 10 electricity. <sighs> I'm not sure on that. 
No. There, my inventories are looking better. I really do feel like I should start using the filters, but I'm not sure on it yet. Do not dare sell me before of me, Filt. If we are not on neutral ground, I would incinerate you where you stand. Why the hostility? Do not presume to be ignorant of who you are, Necromaster. Likes of you are an affront to nature, and abominations... I don't get the and. You're currently you're the abomination to the English language. Uh, and abominations that twists uh, the divine treads of life to your will, to their prey things. It's my duty as a chosen Akaiman to eliminate all enemies of mankind. Mm. All right. The one you call Ulgrim has asked to speak with the Order of Death's Vigil, so I have come before you. A fellow seeker of knowledge. I feel more comfortable here already. What is the Order of Death's Vigil? We are secret, uh, secrets and preservers of knowledge, trained in the ancient art of necromancy. We do not fear death. We embrace all that it teaches us, and though it becomes, and true, it become more in tune with the world around us. Let's see. There was much commotion reported in the area around the gruesome harvest. I trust you have good news. One sec. Let me just go engage in espionage. No. This place may seem safe for now, but don't ever let your guard down. We are at war with devious enemies. I have some questions. Ask away. Why do you dislike the Black Legion? They represent the rejects of the Empire, forced together under a banner of oppression and lack of restraint. The Legion may be famous for its countless victories, but what you don't hear about is the brutality and senseless murder. Sure, not all of them are like that. Many are unfortunate souls caught on the wrong side of politics, but it's difficult to watch that much blood off your banner with the good intentions of a select few. How do you know Inquisitor Creed? Hmm, I swear I can't recall where, when we exactly we've met, but the in good, uh, Inquisitor had accompanied me on several missions since his encounter with Warden Creed, raises suspicions on, of corruption in the capital. Um. His analytical mind and experience with the occult has proven invaluable since the Grim Dawn. It is unfortunate that we're too late to save Urolan. What did you do as first blade? Much of what I had to do is, does not bear mentioning. Let's just say I eliminated threats to the Crown and maintained a spy network expanding the width of the Empire. Most of that network now has, has now collapsed, with agents gone missing or dead, but it served me well even after the end of the world. Fascinating. You have done well in destroying that His, his his look and outfit there, like the scarf around him, reminds me of a character from something else. I just can't pin what. I do know Ogrim. Uh, I've long known of o I've long known of Ogrim by his previous title, the First Blade. Although I was fortunate not to have met him in his working capacity back then, it's not until after the days prior to the Grim Dawn. Uh, that, and it was not until the days prior to the Grim Dawn that I met him in person. It was our mutual awareness of the ethereal conspiracy and individual inability to counter it that brought us together. In the end, we realized that the ethereals were already, already controlled too much of the government and could not be stopped. So instead, we set out to gather resources and allies to weather the invasion and launch resistance. First Blade? Yes, the Imper Emperor's spy master and assassin. His name was stricken from all, rec all the records. His very identity erased so he could exist outside the boundaries of the law. This gave the Emperor great freedom in handling matters some would deem objectable, objectionable to the throne. All knew it. No one dare bring it to light, at least they have a meeting with the First Blade. He was truly unparalleled in his art, feared even by the nightblades of the most of the noble houses, many of whom silently met their, en met their ends at his hands. One might question the morality of his job, but not the ruthless effectiveness of his performance. I will say, though, he did deliver a form of justice to many corrupt and vile men, since many conflicts were to grow into larger, bloody ordeals. True, but did he silence them in the right way? As in, did he... You know, was he just another banner of repression? Actually, never mind. 
there was much commotion reported in the area around the gruesome harvest. I trust you have good news? I am recording, right? Ten minutes in? Yes. It says stop recording, not start recording. That's good. That's a good sign. Yeah, you could hear. You can hear me. You could hear the game, and there's footage. Okay, all is good. The abomination has been destroyed. I see your reputation as well, Emperor. The Legion thanks you for your service to the Emperor. With the ethereal threat crippled, we can now turn our attention to the cult of the Thaw. 250 Rapid Homestead and the Black Legion, and 2,000 Iron. I'm eager to get started. My scouts have reported back from the lands to the north. The situation is far worse than I ever imagined. The cult of Cuthan is on our doorstep and in great numbers. Worse still, they've been capturing farmers, travelers, even my own soldiers and using them for their blood rituals. We cannot risk the cult bolstering their forces with Cuthanic beings. I need you to venture out beyond Saro's Bastion to the north and search their camps. Rescue any survivors before the cultists can use them as sacrifices. What can I expect out there? Terrors from the void. Crazed humans hell-bent on harvesting your blood for their heathen god. Unspeakable dark rituals. The cult of Cuthan is a despicable group of degenerates that needs to be wiped out. I would not ask this of you if I did not think you capable. Will you stop the sacrifices? I will rescue the prisoners. And ki kick some ass, take some names. The weapons monster looks over to supplies and size. It's a damn shame about the cannons. This place would feel a whole lot safer if we had a few of those beauties mounted up in the walls. What happened to the cannons? We had no choice but to abandon them on the road when the Aetherials attacked us in force. Thankfully the bastards don't know a thing about artillery. What if I recovered them? Which seems a bit silly, but... I suppose when you can just... You know, it's a case of when all you have is a hammer, everyone starts to look like a nail. They just over-specialized in ethereal shite, you know? Magic and whatnot. They don't really know much about demolitions. Or, you know, ar artillery. What if I recovered them? Then I'll call you insane. Treading into that area is not but sort of suicide. There's a reason we call it the conflagration now. It's overrun with ethereals. Even the very ground will cook you alive with aether fire. You like living? Stay out of that place. Just watch me. So in one piece, suppose that means you didn't try to enter the conflagration then. Wise choice. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that too soon. <laughs> Don't say that too soon. <laughs> Be careful about calling me wise. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible idea. With the Defemperian threat dealt with, Captain Samara has requested requisition some supplies to get the kitchen up and running. Now that we have food coming in from the fields, you've claimed, we finally started living off more than scraps. What about food for the people at Devil's Crossing? I'll have to take that up with Douglas. Okay, and I, I could use a meal. Uh, nah, I'm fine. There might be a limited amount of time you can actually ask for food. Olgrim has requested your presence. See him immediately. Can he open gates? He's made a clear to no one's leave until he's been debriefed on recent events. I don't have time. Ooh. I think he wants me to reclaim medals, this guy. Here we're going to attack the cultist camps. Ballsy move. But after what you did to that ethereal abomination, I suppose you're capable of anything. Since you're already planning to stick your neck out for us, I was wondering if you could do the Legion small service. What do you need? At the Captain Summer's command, I've been sending out scouting parties to the north in order to study cultist operations there. Got a strong presence in the Blood Grove, and they've been bringing powerful catonic be monstrosities into the world. Needless to say, it's dangerous work. Many of my men have not returned. When a soldier falls in battle, and we can't recover the body, we make sure to at least bring back their insignia, so they can receive a humble send-off to whatever hell awaits us all. My scouts deserve more, but right now I can't even give them that. We've lost too many men out there as it is. I can spare anyone else to recover those insignias. You pay my men this last respect. Make sure to make it worth- I'll be sure to make it worth your while. I will honor your dead. I look for Covenant's insignias. I vaguely remember this. Just the person I'm looking for. The others may disagree with me on this, but there's something I need you to do. What is it? There are two other groups of survivors in the region that we are aware of. But Somer and Creed do not consider them to be of strategic value. Frankly, I disagree. 
They may consist largely of fanatics, but fanatics aimed in the right direction can be a powerful force. I've asked representatives from both the Order of Death's Vigil and Kaiman's Chosen to visit here and speak to us. There is some obvious animosity between the two, but perhaps we can leverage that against them. I would like you to be our representative. Speak to both of them. Learn all that you can and decide which of the two groups would prove to be of superior strategic value. I just don't see them working together, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, actually this reminds me of a bit from Witcher, where the, um, the you find a book talking about, if, you know, the Order of the Flaming Rose, and about how fanatics are useful in someone else's territory. Don't have them where you are, have them set up, like, say if you're in Tamaria, having fanatic groups sprout up in Zeracania, and you're at war with Zeracania, that's more useful to you. I just can't think of the other... Ed Edern. Okay, you're in Tamaria, you're at war with Edern, having a fanatic groups set up in Edern and stabilizing the place is pretty fucking handy for you. Not so much if they set up in your territory. So, yeah, basically send them in first to soften the group up, get themselves wiped out, and then you move in and set set up shop. You don't have to deal with them afterwards. They've managed to do some good for your organization. Win-win. Why don't you talk to them? As much as I'd love to play politics again, Creed demands my attention at the war table. I'm asking you to do this because I trust your judgment. And you're the main character. What can you tell me about two groups? Setting their fanatical beliefs aside, both groups have valuable resources at their disposal. Kaiman's chosen may be religious zealots, but they are surprisingly well trained and should make formidable allies in battle. The Order of Death's Vigil, their powers over death send chills down my spine. But they are powerful mages and used to facing the world's terrors. I won't lie to you. It's not an easy decision. Obviously, I'll be going with the Order of Death's Vigil. The other guy won't listen to me. I'll speak to the emissaries. The way north, under Hex Queen. Got anything useful out of those two? Who'd you choose? Alright. Same thing. I have come to represent Kaiman's Chosen. Is the one you call Ulgrim has requested. That's not here? Why do I have still the Alrighted. Yeah, can never choose him, have to choose this guy because my cost. Call Ulgrim has asked to speak with the Order of Death's Vigil. So I have come before you. Greetings, I am Hararov, and I represent the Order of Death's Vigil. We'll be pleased to welcome another necromancer into our fold. I wonder if I play Inquisitor, can I not choose him? I probably can only choose this guy. What can you tell me about the order? Uh, uh, Alright, he's already saw that. What do you offer the Black Legion? We are experts in the arcane and masteries of necromancy. Why send living men to die at the hands of the enemy when we can send loyal undead servants into battle in our stead? We will combat the enemy and preserve valuable human lives in the process. Which is a very important thing. Plus, plus, we haven't seen ethereal skeletons yet. So, the enemy is also ne the enemy are also necromancers, to to possibly a limited degree. So if you just keep swarm swarming them with waves of dead, you know, of skeletons, they might not actually be able to do anything against it. Well, like in sending them back, swarm them with waves of humans. If they can kill them, they can raise them, you know, and swarm you back with them. So. Drown him in skeletons. Why can you tell me about Uruburk? Our master is eternal. He was there when the Arkovian Empire was young. He was there when they fell to his curse. The Arkovians, much like the Uruan Empire shattered by the Grim Dawn, had persecuted necromancy and those who would seek forbidden knowledge. They tortured their master, eager to earn his secret to immortality. In return, Uruburk cursed him to eternal on life. Since the fall of Rokovia, Urborg founded the Order of Death's Vigil to ensure that, that the pursuit of knowledge and life's mysteries will never again be threatened by the ignorant. Now that humanity stands at the brink of annihilation, since his teachings are more relevant than ever, we will return balance to this world, as our master had decreed. What is necromancy? 
Necromancy is a study of death and the forces of life that bind us to, a to, to that final fate. To us, death is not a mystery that must be, is a, to death. To us, death is a mystery that must be studied. There's some esoteric topic, topic worthy of fear. What can you tell me of Kaiman's chosen? They are fanatics obsessed with an ancient faith, worshiping a non-existent god known as Empyrean. Any one that stands against their tenets is a heretic and worthy only of extermination, and that they are no better than the Empire that have persecuted the Order for generations. What sort of equipment do you offer? You should, find that, you should find that our equipment can handle many situations, but users of cold, vitality, and minions will find our arsenal to be of great use. I actually don't own, only use minions, but so I don't really see the order stuff being too useful for me, sadly. I'm a shaman. Um, it's disappointing, but yeah, it's my only choice. I think I've made my decision. What... Uh, what will be then? Will the Black Legion fight alongside the Order of Death Vigil against these invaders to our realm? The Black Legion will work with you. Splendid. I shall make arra the arrangements immediately. In the meantime, I am now despised with Kaiman's Chosen. In the meantime, I would ask that you seek out our sanctum to the north. We have claimed a small crypt hidden in the mountains, just, bes uh, just west of Sarah's Bastion. To get there, you must take the road north through the foul fields. Once you reach that, the old fort ruins, you are close to our home. Um, once inside, seek Master Varuk. Uh, you, he will wish to speak with our new ally. I'll seek out your sanctum. 5,000 XP. Filth stands alongside Filth. Fitting. Do not expect mercy should we meet on the battlefield. Whatever. Um, I'm on my way. How's the Necromancer Ogrim? I hadn't a choice. Okay. He's not the Commandant. But now, I have unlocked the other group, and you start off as friendly. Fantastic. Didn't think you did. Maybe it's because I'm a, ne a necromancer myself. Killing materials, killing Kaiman's Chosen, bequests, and bounties. So yeah, they're the anti-ethereal faction. Wait. Ethereal Vanguard. Oh, does... They actually have to be stipulated as Ethereal Vanguard to get... Repuji? Explains why I'm not at Exalted yet. And you get to the bounty table with Friendly. Hmm. Interesting. The configuration is this way. Let's go this way. Ooh, I didn't mean to come up here, but... Quest. Excuse me, citizen, but I was wondering if you could help me out with something. What do you need? Homestead is running low on building supplies. We've already salvaged the barn roof to reinforce the walls, but there's only so much we can do with sheets of metal. One of the buildings here will be perfect to set... Uh, uh, will be a perfect place to let our men catch some sleep, but it's completely run down. We're we'll gonna need lumber, and I know just the place to get it. Problem is, the nearest lumber mill is overrun with katonic spawn. I've insisted to the captain that our men need a place to rest properly, but she feels that the casualties will be too great to risk retaking the mill. You're not under her command. You can do as you choose. Please head out into the Blood Grove to the north and secure Grover's Mill. Grover's Mill. After the rogues had the gruesome harvest, a few chantic uh, uh, runs should be a cakewalk. Sure. To be honest, that is a pretty fair assumption. So... Do enemies have to be marked as Ethereal Vanguard for me to actually get rep with the Black Legion? If so, that... that sucks. Means I only get rep off local materials. Not any Ethereal. I don't know what just got killed, so 650. 650 left. Okay, 650. 650. Like it. Oh, dangerous domain, this is new. 
10% less armor, but cooldowns are reduced. Everyone, over here. So yeah, I gain rep with the Order of Death Vigil now by killing Ethereals anywhere and also killing Kaiman's Chosen. In fact, you can go sort of your way through Kaiman's Chosen headquarters now if you so please. It's, it's right across from the Vigil. Um, which is pretty convenient. But... Um, Yeah, I, I have to kill Ethereal Vanguard to gain rep with the other one, and I have no idea who they mean by Ethereal Vanguard. The Ethereal Vanguard may be mooks later on that we actually haven't encountered yet. Uh, up by Fort Icon. I think there's materials there. So it might be them. Okay, well, there's a bit of reach there. Yeah, the cannons are somewhere over here. Thank you, potion. You know, the homebrewed. Oh shit, I killed over. When you die, you lose experience, but you can recover some of the experience by locating your grave marker. Ow. Oh, great, it's part of effects all over, all over again. I was, got too daring. Seriously, you don't care that I'm killing materials on your heels. They don't even care that I'm killing con uh, these. They don't even care about them. No, they're practically fixated on them. They don't care. Ugh. Doesn't make sense. Does does anyone care that I'm killing those? Maybe Kaiman's Chosen cares about the death of these. Yeah, they they care. Typical. Claimed 1,561. Yeah, this place is always burrowing. It's, that, it's the damn like, Aether fire in the air. It hurts. Uh, looks, like, uh, looks like this path leads to towards a heavy ethereal presence, but it's blocked off by massive formation of eight or crystals. You can clear it out with some heavy explosives. Three dynamite. So many mark stones all around the place. Crystals. 
like I said, it's much easier to get these crystals than, say, Orbs of Regret in um, Pot of Exile. I don't know if I will run into a faction that actually gives a damn about me killing the, those cultists. It's actually really bugging me now because I feel like I'm missing out. Ugh. Okay, there is nothing over there. That was quite worth the TNT. I suppose it did lead to a couple crystals, which are worth it. Also, we already st we started despised with these, which is nice. Over here. Hmm. It's that path just ended up looking like it, you know, might actually be accessible. I'm just paranoid with secrets. Secrets everywhere. There's level 38. Okay. None here yet. Be nice, but no.
it's tempting to just dump my points into something, all three, like, but I'm not sure what. I'm happy with that. Oh, this boosts Modrigan's pack. Nice. So it's a shield, so I won't ever use it, but. Hmm. It's cool. Sure what I need yeah, I should get. You know what, sure, get the spirit. Just random silvers of crystal all over the place. No, I didn't get for that. I got. Oh yeah, I buffed up skeletons. Yeah. Well, I improved the that one thing of them, and it's gonna. It didn't really have a noticeable effect on skeletons because I didn't put the three points. In. Yeah, you can still hear me. Just, you can hear me just fine. <sighs> Going for nearly 40 minutes now. Oh, there's these beasties over here. Not anticipating running into them.
infested rift scourge? Was that what it said? Marker to travel would actually be pretty useful here. You know, and that lets me move that bit quicker, you know? 